So for those of you guys who do not know, when uh, Mansori took my Veyron, uh, this is that was not mine at the time. I purchased the Mansori Veyron secondhand from the, the guy that uh, sent the car originally to Mansori. But you know, when that car went there, they sent back all the parts for the car, you know, all the stock parts. And well, <laughs> that's what was in these boxes right here. So I thought maybe it was a good idea, but not just those boxes, okay? But uh, um, this box, there's one of the, you can guess what that one is, if you guys know. And apparently there's Home Depot in Germany, which is odd. But we're gonna go through, and I wanted to make like an unboxing video because these parts have been in these boxes for, for years. I mean, legit years. Like, I think the car was done like sometime 2013. So seven years later, we're unboxing basically an entire Bugatti Veyron. So we already started, I mean, because all this stuff, it's unbelievable. So we went through and now we're gonna uncover each part and uh, we're gonna try to put it together. So we're gonna assembly, we're gonna essentially assemble a Bugatti Veyron in pieces in my little office here. So let's get started. All right, so this is one of the pinnacle pieces on the car. And I know what it is, but if you guys are watching, pay attention. All this Mensori tape, I feel like it's so expensive, you know? Just because it says Mensori on it, like, I feel like it's like, we shouldn't be cutting it with a razor blade, but we have to, and we need to. So, let's see. Man, these are so heavy. No wonder the Veyron is so heavy. Wow. So this is the OEM air intake. Even has my VIN number on it, right there. Don't don't show the VIN number. Just Secret. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. My goodness. Um, yeah. So these right here, I kind of feel like they should have made them in carbon fiber, and uh, well, they didn't. So air. This goes right on the air box. There's gonna be the air box piece here soon, so I'll show that to you. But I think we've been discussing maybe making some like really cool forged carbon ones of these. I don't know. All these pieces are usable, right? I mean. I kind of feel like they need to go somewhere, do something. We can make a real fake Veyron. That's a good idea, right? No. Nope. Like a real fake one. Well, I mean. Like it's a real Veyron, <laughs> but like it's not a real one. <laughs> because this is a real Veyron part, but it'd be on like maybe Audi R8. I don't know. That's you fair. know what I'm saying? Uh, we need to see if we can get a hold of that car that was in the water. I heard it was sold for 300 grand. Uh, and I actually talked to the owner twice, but you know, I didn't think it was worth 300 grand anyways. It needs a lot of parts and I uh, happen to have them all. So um, we should figure out what to do with this, but let's on to the next piece. Oh, I found a brake light. It has a broken tab. So this doesn't seem like it's gonna be usable. Does it feel like Christmas? This is the best Christmas day ever. Or like Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever you're into. It's so funny because all <laughs> these parts, like how, how long has it been since I bought that car? Like. Uh, two years? Two years. Two years. Yeah. I mean, why did I wait until now to do this? This is so fun. This is ridiculous. I said, listen, we've been holding on to his for long enough. It's time to finally give it to him. <laughs> yeah. As if we didn't have a hard enough time buying an oil filter. I know, right? Like, <laughs> uh, you know what's also funny is if, and then this is a real thing. When I bought that car, the original owner purchased a brand new set of tires, original OEM Veyron tires, 38,000 bucks part of the service invoice sent it to Mansori because unfortunately that car has Veyron style wheels. So it needs like a special tire machine, but it also has an issue where Bugatti will not touch them. So you need a Veyron tire machine that's not owned by Bugatti hmm. to change the tires. So my brand new tires were sent to Mansori where they have the hookup or I don't know, maybe they grease some people at the factory. I have no clue. They were supposed to put my wheels and my tires together when I did that crazy burnout. So I called them and I said, hey, I want to send my wheels. To send the wheels with 8,000 bucks, to remove the tires with 4,000 bucks, to put my new tires on, it's 4,000 bucks, send the wheels back, 8,000 bucks. I was like, you know what, man? I'm just gonna put these tires 
next to my car. I'm not going to use them. Send me the tires back. And they said they don't have them anymore. Hmm. So one day, I'm going to go to Germany, knock on the door, and be like, where's my tires? I got this receipt right here. Where's my tires? So, I don't know. And there's actually, I think, counting these pieces, there may be a few pieces missing, too. So Pretty sure you have a closet at Mansory. I probably do. Well, it's, you know. That one there. That's, I inherited that's that closet. Houston's closet. Yeah, so car 115, which is my car, that's the closet for car 115, and that's the, the <laughs> closet that I inherited. It's it. <laughs> funny. Your Bugatti closet. Look at these. Look, what is this? What is that? This is like cast. Mm. This is like aluminum. This is the uh, engine cover that says the 16, whatever, but except there's no. I wonder if that's on the actual head itself. Probably is where that goes. Don't you think these should be carbon fiber too? Or something other than like this? Just a little, a little lighter, right? Yeah, I mean, they're not heavy, but I feel like this is a waste of money. So these go, I almost hit that piece, that sucked. Uh, these go this way actually, mm -hmm. like that, next to it. All right, we gotta find some better, cooler pieces. Let's go for a big one this time. Oh. All right, I'll take any, anybody, any guesses? I don't know. I'd say, Fender covers. Yeah, <laughs> looks just like a fender cover. I mean, you never know what the size of the tires on the Bugatti. Just so you guys know, I know that's not the fender cover. Um, Tony, you're gonna get a real- Yeah, I know, right? Today. Jesus. Don't pause it and to comment. Just comment while I'm talking. Comment right now. <laughs> Funny because some of these pieces, it's confusing because they're already carbon fiber, right? Now I know that Mansori did like way above and beyond, and they and they did like that waffle pattern all over the car. But you know some of the pieces like like this. Well, this one's actually not carbon. This is just seems to be. I don't know. No idea. But like this piece right here, it, you can't even see it unless you're driving, you know. So or driving, meaning that the cars out with the wing. But uh, all right, so we've already started to build our Veyron here. So like this is like our new version of Lego. So you guys are building that little shear on Lego kit. We're building the real Veyron, all right, just out of the pieces. Got another big piece out. Rear fender. Ooh. Starting to come together really nice. It's really interesting though, if you look at it, like all these pieces, right, are so light. It is unbelievable. Well, I mean, a couple of them are heavy, but the majority of them are really light into what you would think is like the heaviest sports car ever made. I don't know where the weight is. I mean, I know the engine weighs a lot, right? But like the engine doesn't weigh 2,500 pounds. I don't know. Look, I have no idea. I'm not in smart that like way or whatever, but we got to figure it out because some light pieces might make this car better. Oh, we got it. It's free. Nice. Wow. That's a beautiful piece. Okay, here, hold this. We're gonna need to, to move these intakes in a little bit. To move the fenders out. That's the last box, but my razor blades are dull and uh, we have all these parts out right here, which is great. It actually took a long time to, to do this. I was pretty surprised. Look at all those boxes there. And the, that one over there, we still haven't done. But we have the majority of the pieces here. So next steps, what the heck are we doing with all these pieces? 
right? I thought it'd be a good idea to take them out of the box, but now they're out of the box, and so what are we gonna do? I kind of want to make some really cool carbon parts, but the Mansori car is for sale at Prestige, and that means I'm gonna have to get another Bugatti in order to make any fun with these parts. So I don't know, maybe I'm in the market for a Veyron. Tony, can you find me one? No, I'm just kidding, I can find one way faster than you. I found one. You guys want to see it? No, don't show anybody anything because you don't. I think expectations are really high right now. Uh, I could use another hypercar because basically I'm hypercarless. I'm actually carless too. All my cars are over there in those lifts. Um, story of my life. But dude, what do you think if we just put all these pieces on like an R8, make it like a real fake Bugatti, right? I like that idea. I think it'd be really funny. Um, and an R8's not a bad car. I just had an R8 come into the shop, so. You know, I don't know. I've got one sitting over there on the lift. Put a Hemi into it, Tony. Be all over that. Yeah, Hemi. Absolutely. You put a Hemi in anything if I, all over it. If I ever put an American engine in a car like this, I would, please, guys, I, I would then have gone crazy. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting like a V12 in it, but the V10 would be fine. Honestly, like the V10 out there, no problem. So the point is, is we got to figure out what to do with these parts. Maybe I just mock it up like this, like actually mock it up to put it all together. I have the headlights and taillights. They're in another box. Um, I've got the diffuser over there. This is the main under bottle, uh, underbody tray. I actually have, to be honest, I have a lot more parts mechanical too. I've got a spare set of axles. Um, I've got rear rotors, rear calipers, rear emergency calipers, rear axles. Uh, I have the entire rear assembly. I've got stock wheels still. So I could possibly even like legit make a Bugatti. Like I, I, I seriously could. Um, don't know what I would do with the, the thing. But maybe we can make it like a display car or show car. I have no idea. Uh, you guys can give me some ideas because I have too many to think of right now. And um, I will uh, take some advice. So this is the unboxing of a Bugatti. And uh, now it's over. It's unboxed. So we'll see you guys uh, when we figure out what we're doing with these pieces. And for now, I think Tony's going to put them all back in the box.